Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial. So I'm going to use a quick bebop line here to show you how to accent your line and how to bring it to life and how to um, actually make it sound really powerful and within the style of bebop by accenting certain notes and leaving others kind of out of the picture a little bit. So let's take a look at the line and let's see how we do that. So here's the line and it is the uh, same as, as what I used in the um, slurring episode. So let's just take a quick look anyways. So it would be one and... Now this time I'm going to focus on just accenting certain notes. So I'm going to um, add those slurs back and you can, you can watch that episode. Um, uh, if you like, but let's just concentrate on, on some accents here. In jazz, it's a great idea to accent off beats of, uh, of your lines. So, you know, if you have qu uh, quavers or eighth note lines, it's a great idea to accent the one and two and three and four and to give it that rhythmic flavor and rhythmic um, kind of um, approach and rit well, the rhythmic feel that jazz uses. Okay, so I'm going to use that here and um, I'm going to start by putting an accent on the three end here, which is a B flat. So in the first bar, on that three end there is an accent and I'm going to play this four a little bit quieter and then again accent the four end. So this first bar here would be Loud, quiet, loud, yeah? And moving on to the second bar, to the C7, to the line over the C7 chord here, I'm going to play tying to the A. Now, I'm going to accent the, uh, the one and two and three and four and in this, in this line, so it would be, so it sounds like this. And the third bar is just, just really a uh, resolution into F major. We have an A, D, G, A, a G, F. We have an A, D, G, F. Okay, so here I would put an accent on the D on the one end and put an accent on the F on the two end. That's all that you need to do there. Again, just to remind you, I am using the slurs that I uh, already spoken to you about in, in, this, in the other episode. So let's take a look at uh, the second bar here uh, from that E flat note to the E. So, and with accenting everything in there. So, okay. Now I'm gonna play it a little bit faster. So you can hear that we got that jazz feel and the jazz flavor into the line by accenting those, those offbeat notes. Okay, now let me just play this line to you one more time, as is, without any accenting or without any, any kind of phrasing, and then I'll, I'll put the accents on. So without the phrases, uh, without the um, phrasing. Yeah, so it doesn't sound that great, does it? So now with the phrasing. Yeah, that's, that's a bit better or much better uh, for my taste anyways. Great, that's it for this uh, episode um, on accenting your notes and making your bebop lines um, sound great and with, a great, with, a, with the right feel for jazz. And, so, and if you'd like to um, have the sheet music for, uh, for this lesson, just follow the link underneath and it will take you to zoltansbasslines.com where you will be able to download uh, the sheet music here. Thanks for watching and I'd like to acknowledge Thomas and George Martin for hosting this lesson in their beautiful bass room here. And to find out more about the, all the great stuff they do for the double bass, please visit thomasmartin.co.uk. Take care and bye for now.